In this module, we're going to be focusing a lot of our attention on fractions. But before we get there, let's talk a little bit about finding the least common multiple, also referred to as the lowest common multiple. Um, the reason it's called this is because we're going to be looking at multiples of numbers. And uh, we want to choose a number that both numbers have in common and the, the lowest one that they share. So for instance, if I have um, five and I'm comparing that to 15, um, I know that if I listed them off, I'd have five, 10, Fifteen, twenty, etc. And for here, I would have fifteen, thirty, uh, forty-five, etc. So you can see that both of these numbers, the five and the fifteen, have a fifteen as a common multiple, and it happens to be the lowest common multiple. Now, if I continued on here with the fives, I'd get 25, 30, and so on. And you can see that 30 is also um, a common multiple for both 5 and 15. But I want to choose the lowest or least common multiple. So this 15 would be that, that would be the LCM. Now in this case, I represented uh, or I demonstrated how to find the lowest common multiple by creating a list for each number. And we could do this um, for other numbers. You can even have three numbers that you're comparing. But let's go ahead and look at one other one, and then we'll look at our prime factors method for finding the lowest common multiple. In this problem, we have what is the lowest common multiple of 9 and 12? And so I'm going to just list the multiples of 9 and 12, and I want to see what that multiple is going to be. Now, if you know your multiplication facts pretty well, um, you, you get to a point where you don't have to write them out. Um, so I'm just going to go and list 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and so on. Let's go ahead and list some 12s. Starting with 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, and so on. So I believe there is one multiple that you can see. Um, just to double check, you know, I don't see anything. Oh, I do see a 36 and a 36 here. And there is another one, 72 is another one. And we would continue to find common multiples between the two as we continue to go up in our list. But again, we want to find the lowest or the least common. And so in this case, 36 is going to be the LCM. Now let's go ahead and use the prime factors method. And the goal is to first write out the numbers in 
prime factor form. Okay, so I know that the factors of 9, the prime factors, are 3 times 3. Uh, I'm not quite sure of 12. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and do a quick tree. And you can always do this if you're not sure. Okay, so that was easy enough. So for 12, I do have a 3. So I'm going to line that up under one of these 3s. And it doesn't matter which one. And then I've got two 2s. Okay, so now I'm going to change pens. I'm going to just bring down each column. And it doesn't matter if my twos are, you know, in back. If we're going to write it out in exponential form, we would start out with the lowest base number. And so we would have. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, or 2 squared times 3 squared. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 3 is 36. So again, my lowest common multiple is 36. And if I figured it out in this exponential form, that's going to be 4 times 9, which again is 36. So there are two ways that you can figure out lowest common multiple, listing or using the prime factors method.